Alright, so the first part of the Trimble system is the Trimble tablet. And basically all it is is a tablet form of a Windows 10 computer. So overall you have it's a shock resistant case with soft padding around the outside and then on the back there is a mount for mounting it on site in various locations. It has a stylus attached to it, a camera for photographing issues and different forms of layout. The expanded battery is right here. These allow you to take the battery out if you need to replace it. The antenna here allows it to communicate with the robotic total station that just unfolds just like that and it can turn and bend and all that fun stuff so just kind of leave it lay like that and I'll turn it on just press and hold the green button and the power light will turn on if the battery is low this will shine orange see it's starting up now and then it opens up and just like any other tablet that runs Windows 10. So we swipe up and you type in the password. That's how you start it. Type in the password here. It opens up. There's all your different programs you can use. Trimble field link firmware update, all those sorts of things. What you can do is you can connect it, it's currently connected to the Wi-Fi here at the shop. You can use it to connect to your phone's hotspot, which you should have if you're on site, if you need internet access. And that's just a quick overview of the Trimble tablet. Right, this here is the actual robotic total station. Now, a couple things about the box. This opens up, and it has some backpack straps in it for easier carrying if you have to carry it somewhere relatively far. And then you just lock these here, flip it open. All right, so quick overview here. This is where you keep the active prism. It's a battery-powered prism used for locating different items. These are the two batteries. If you press this button on top, it tells you how charged they are. They're both fully charged. Miscellaneous documentation and quick, uh, quick start guides. This here, I believe this is the battery for the prism. Actually, I'm really pretty confident in that. This is a smaller antenna. Some little tools and stuff. The keys for the locks here. And then down in here, you have the charging cable that goes to the charger for the batteries for the robotic total station, which I will show you in a moment. And this bag, all nice and covered and protected, is the total station itself. So this, this is the one you want to be careful with. Gently place it on the surface and access it. The bottom. You have to try to keep clean because when you put it on the the mast it's supposed to be perfectly level so grit and dirt and pebbles and things will offset it from being level it's not that big of a deal because you can adjust it but it's still it's just good practice and this is the robotic total station itself it's the viewfinder there you can look through antenna up at the top again pivots and turns and all, all that. And then this here is where the batteries go. The larger batteries that I showed you earlier go in here. And you just close it. And you can turn it. And that is the power button to turn it on. Once you turn it on, this will turn on and it shows you the connect uh, the connection status and the channels to use to connect it. Down here, these dials adjust in three different points. 
total station for level. It's the three points. I'm not sure what that does yet. Looks like another adjustment possibly to lock in from turning. And then if you look here, that's your bubble level. And as you turn these dials, you should be moving this closer and closer to level, which of course helps get a more accurate reading. And this is another thing, I'm not sure about what it does yet, but we will find out. Also in the container here, in that gray box there is the charger for these batteries. You have to reach down there and pull it out if you ever need to charge anything. Down there is another antenna and some other paperwork and stuff like that. Uh, what's this? That's the, this is the rain cover for the lens. Put it over the lens to protect it from rain so it doesn't get spotty. Um, this machine is dust and water resistant, so it's okay to use in probably a, like a light rain. I wouldn't push it, you know, it's pretty uh, expensive to gamble with, so. Other than that, these dials do different adjustments. The laser shines through a little rectangle, and you can use these, you can look through these here, like this to try to do a little bit of spotting manually before using the camera so you can aim it a little bit quicker. And that's just a quick overview of the total station and its container.